All right, I went to the hardware store. I got some parts um, that I think I'll need to put this together. One really important was they actually had the white um, caps that go on the bottom. Um, let me open these up. But they go on like that. I'm going to have a fun time opening that up. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I also need some screws, and uh, after looking at the photos, and I saw another user, he, who, the one who built that really slick one, he noticed that it looked like this piece was sticking out a little bit more, and it had like a tear to it, so he bought a little nylon washer. I couldn't, I don't think this is quite the same as what he did, but, because I couldn't find one that had a narrow hole. So he thought it was something like this. And after looking at my reference photos, I kind of agree. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I got this piece of dowel rod and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to cut it off flush right there. I'll take a couple screws or a screw and put it in here so it goes through and holds it in place and then I will use um, the washer, the cap, probably some of these metal washers on the inside to give some more support underneath that way it doesn't collapse in and then a big screw through it and then close the cap. And that's how I'll do the bottom half. The top half Looks like I think this is going to be used because I think this is going to be in there. Cause I noticed in the reference photos you can't really see all the way through. Well, in the couple that exist. Let's see, this is a weird thing to do. It's so weird going reversed. So I think that is actually in there. Um, and then I'll probably take something and put it in there to fill this in that way I can glue this to it and uh, do that now I also did notice that it wasn't the the mesh isn't like pushed through it's basically cut out and then it's just barely like glued in place and in the in the real one that this is also glued in place you can see the the, the XX excess uh, like epoxy is probably what it is um, so I don't know, maybe that'll just pop in there. Hmm. Anyways, that's kind of, I think that's going to be the plan, basically. So I'll go see if all this stuff will fit together. Alright, first things first, let's get these open. Stack four of those. Oh, oh, they do fit. Okay. They just don't all want to fit at the same time. Well, that'll help keep that bottom piece in line, and then like that. Close that all the way, but that's how I'm going to do it. Choose the end that doesn't have a sticker on it.
we go. That's where I need to cut. problem is until I shove it in there. Also dirty. So I went and looked up how to deal with the mesh, um, and I looked at, uh, I have a Stormtrooper helmet from Innovos that's upstairs, kind of how they did it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of like painter's tape down over this, and I'm going to draw the pattern, the circle on there, and then use some tin snips to cut it out. That seems to kind of be the best way to do it. Um, so I'm going to try that. I have enough to make probably, I don't know, a bunch of these. So. Um, if I screw up, then I have more. <laughs> oh well. Alright. Got some tape right here. Let's use that. Got a circle. I hope I have some tin snips. I'm pretty sure I do. Or I did. Aha! Peter. First thing is going to be to cut it out and then cut it a little smaller and smaller. Sorry if there's that trickling noise. I'm filtering some water. So I'm going to do a water change on the fish tanks tomorrow. Trim it down and trim it down and trim it down. Alright, just need a little bit more there. There yet, I gotta 
take it down a little bit more in places. It's so close. Gotta be careful there. I almost pushed it. Almost pushed it all the way in. It's a little far down on that side, but that's okay. I can fix that. There we go. I did it on the first try. <laughs> I think one thing I'm going to try to do is I think I'm going to try to shave off the edge of this piece right here. Just a hair. Then it will slip inside that. And that will make a uh, nicer f like fit, you know, like that'll, the way it will assemble is it'll just be just under that surface. So I'll probably just um, use a little. Um, sandpaper to shave it down, sand it down some. Ha! Huh. Look at there, and I could glue that in place, and then I'm gonna figure out how to get this piece attached. I think I'm just gonna drill a hole and put a screw in it. I gotta find a little screw for that um, before I glue anything. I don't want to go all the way through. That should be enough. I do need to put some super glue on this to keep that secure, and then I'm gonna also gonna super glue this in place. So let me go find some super glue. So it can dry. Put thing on there. All right. I'm calling that complete. 
Awesome. This is actually the first non-weapon prop I've ever built. Um, still, still only in the Star Wars realm, but um, all the same, I'm pretty happy with that. And because that dowel rod piece in there in the bottom, and all those washers, it's actually got a fair amount of weight to it now. It's not heavy, but it's you feel it, you know. Very cool. Um, gotta go put this up on the shelf, shelf with the, all the lightsabers and blasters. So, um, until next time.